fuck? Damn, fucking take off your armor, bro. It just seems like it got no personality, yeah, for sure. Like, it, it like has all the correct elements to make a good game, but it just feels like it's missing something, you know? Like, I don't know what the fuck this game needs, really. I mean, like, it has potential. It really does. But it just feels like there's something missing, you know? I should feel excited when I fucking massacre someone, but this game just doesn't give me that, you know? Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing alphas or betas and telling you what I thought. Bear in mind that these games aren't finished yet, so don't take this as the final product. So today we're going to be talking about 9 to 5. I believe this is like the third or fourth video that I've had on it. And the reason why we're talking about it today is because there was a beta weekend that happened just recently, and I was able to actually try it out. I even streamed it on Twitch if you want to watch. Link in the description. So we're going to talk about a lot of improvements that were made from the previous update, and then we're going to get into what I think is missing from this game. So the first thing that I want to say about it is that there's been a lot of improvements for sure. They ended up fixing a lot of the issues that I had with it in the previous update. Go over them right now. So on the previous one, I had said that the game looked very free to play, that the game felt very bot store asset heavy even though the developers kept telling me multiple times that they actually made these assets in-house i'll take their word for it because they have been changing up the game things have been looking different every time that i get into their alphas or betas so this time around they really stepped up their presentation from their main menu screens to their customization screens it actually looks like they put a lot of time and effort into the way that it looks it doesn't look as free to play as what i remember their ui doesn't look as complicated as it used to be it seems a little more simplistic now because before i used to think that there was like so much like overwhelming stuff here like well why is there so many goddamn currencies like you got this currency in game you got this currency that looks like a premium sort of deal you have like this point currency for your guns i guess i'm not sure if it's to add an attachment or to upgrade the gun itself I'm supposed to sign up with a corporation like what each corporation has their own guns gears and perks but outside of that well, what are all these perks here i don't get how to you get like a bunch of random upgrades and like i don't know what the hell was going on the last update was so goddamn overwhelming like what is all this shit but luckily this time around they threw all this stuff out the window it made it look simplistic it's definitely not as overwhelming as i remembered it things are just so much easier to understand so there is like one currency in the game and after every time that you play whether you win or lose you'll get some of that currency how much currency you get kind of depends on if you win or lose like if you win i believe it's like four to five thousand currency if you don't win a single phase of the match i think you get maybe like 200 credits or something but i also think it depends on performance like like how many kills you get if you were doing the objectives at least i think couldn't really say for sure but i ended up getting a lot of it to be honest you can use that currency to go and buy unique types of weapons which they actually have some decent looking weapons i saw like this tommy gun that looked pretty cool like if there was anything that i really had to complain about with that is that when you bought a specific gun thinking that it would be better than the previous one that you had its stats are actually shittier than the current weapon that i have so wait what the frack is the point of this why would i buy a weapon that's worse than the one that i currently have i mean sure it looks cool but i look at the stats and i'm just like oh well, that's a shame like i ended up buying this cool looking ak but it ended up having worse stats than the current weapon that i have so like well wait what's the point of me downgrading to this gun actually i kind of thought that the uh store that they had was kind of odd like it sold the same gun like twice but the only difference is that one had like a silencer and one had like a long range scope like i don't know if those are just temporary or what i just thought that was kind of odd like why would you sell a gun that we already have over again like just give me the attachments yeah so i think it's great that they made it more simplistic but some of the choices were just a bit odd there's also cosmetics that you can unlock but i didn't actually see how you could do that i'm not really sure if you earn those in game or if you have to buy those but considering this is going to be a free-to-play game i'm assuming that all cosmetics are going to be bought but i didn't actually check to see if you could use in-game currency to buy the cosmetics i didn't i didn't have time to check that out but anyway so in the previous video i had an issue with trying to figure out what the hell you were supposed to do in game one of the 
the problems that I had was wondering if I should even learn the freaking objectives because the rounds go so fast that the objectives at that point don't even matter. So should I bother even learning them? Like that's the dilemma that I had because not only did the rounds go fast, but the modes would change every time. It's not the same mode every game. So what's the point of me even learning them? Well, in this update, they fix it by just telling you straight up. Corporate will unlock that logistics terminal so we can intercept the cargo drop. Clear that landing area of hostile. We're taking that chopper out of here. We'll need to hijack their transmitter to get that data. Or you'll answer to HR. They verbally tell you what to do each round. I gotta give these developers props. I didn't think that they'd actually be able to solve this problem with something so simple. Like it didn't occur to me, like it didn't occur to me that they could just put in a voice actor that just literally tells you what to do. It's something so simple that I just didn't process, you know? Like I thought that this was gonna be an issue that they couldn't solve because in the previous alpha updates, I was like, do we even wanna learn the damn modes? Because the rounds go so freaking fast that I don't feel like there's a point to even doing it. For the most part, I was actually just killing people, not really doing the objectives. But now, they tell you what to do, and then they show a map, put it in front of your face where you're supposed to go. So yeah, that's an overall improvement from the last time I tried it. I mean, it was in the game previously, but it was very, like, obscure. Like, it didn't really catch your attention on what you were actually supposed to do, but now it's in your face. So that's great. It was definitely less confused this time around. I actually knew what I was going to do. And for the most part, I accomplished my objectives, or at least I tried to, when I could. So the way that those objectives actually work is that they come in phases. Each phase has an objective that you're supposed to do, but each one of them is optional. You can either kill the entire team or do the objective. If you accomplish all of these phases, you get the most currency that you can use to buy stuff in the store. But if you fail all of them, then you get just a minuscule amount of currency. I think like the lowest that I got was like 200 to 300 when I didn't actually do good in all three phases. Now something that I would really like to know is what gets you more points doing the objectives or just killing the other teams. I didn't really get time to test that, unfortunately. But if I had to guess, I would say doing the objectives probably gets you more points. But yeah. So overall, the animations have definitely improved. Previously, there was a lot of like, what looked like missing animations. Like I'd press the reload button and the gun would like stop in like midair and he wouldn't like move or anything for a couple of seconds. And then he puts the mag back into the weapon. Or when I was pulling out like some sort of stem pack or medic pack, like the animation would like freeze as he was trying to like stick himself. And then it would kind of just disappear. Just a lot of like weird missing or odd choices of animation I would say but this time around they definitely fixed all the animations and everything seemed pretty fluid to me so that's good <sighs> If there was anything that I really disliked about the game so far, I guess it would have to be that the game kind of feels a bit floaty. Like, it doesn't feel completely down to earth. Maybe they could fix this by adding head bobbing to make it feel like you're not just hovering around everywhere. Or I don't know. But something feels like it definitely needs to be done. Another thing that they could definitely use more of is maps. Because I only ever played two. The desert map and the New York map. Two maps that are pretty big and have a lot of, like, verticality to them. But it kind of gets annoying when you're only playing two. They should really at least add one more map to the rotation in my opinion speaking of rotation they really need to shuffle the maps up more because i felt like i kept playing one of the same map every time i mean i know that there's not a whole lot to uh switch up in this game but they seriously need to like switch off you know so in the beginning of the video i had said that there's just something that's missing from this game and i think i might have actually figured out what that is what it is is sound and gratification sound because i feel like the gun sounds for example aren't beefy enough, you know? Like, the gun that I currently have just sounds like the freaking AR from Halo 1, which I do like the sounding from Halo 1, but this is supposed to be like a modern-ish game, you know? I want to hear some modern weapons that sound like an actual gun while I'm slaying some dudes. Another thing that has to do with sound uh, is the voice acting. Like, I feel like it's a bit goofy. Oh my god, I'm running out of ammo like chocolate! Like, I get that this is supposed to be like a corporate sort of game, and they don't want to offend people. That's the only thing that I fucking hate about this. So, I mean, I kind of guess that it fits with the aesthetic but I don't know. I kind of find it annoying, to be honest. Maybe make it less goofy and just like add things that sound cooler. Kill someone and be like, take it up with HR. I don't know. So that's everything that I can think of off the top of my head when it comes to sound. Now, what do I mean by gratification? Well, I feel like this game should have like a bunch of like sounds and noises. Like every time that you kill someone, it should be like getting a promotion in Battlefield 4. Promoted! Or unlocking a new weapon in Call of Duty. You know, like get people excited, right? Or if you've ever played freaking uh, Tony Hawk pro skater like every time that you do like a new trick you hear like a duh, duh, 
dun. Like, just do that, but for every time that you get a kill, dun. Like, you know, give it some personality. Whenever I wipe out a team, team wipe. If I somehow decide to wipe out both teams, exterminator. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. But yeah, 9 to 5 is definitely a game with a lot of potential, but it just doesn't have that personality factor, I think. Like, every time that I look at a video about 9 to 5, everybody just says that it's missing something, but they don't say what it is. Well, I think I found out what it is. But you tell me down below if you think that I'm right or not. I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I covered games like 9 to 5, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. Stick around. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.